Hey you guys, so today I wanted to pull a little bit of a Tati. Y'all know she's like my role model on here. So today I'm doing an OMG Tuesday. Now mine's not going to be with an expensive item. It's actually going to be with a super affordable one and all day wear test just so you can see how well it performs. So what I've got, and y'all have seen me talk about it before, but I've never put it to the test. What I have is the Crate Finds Matte Lipstick. Now, I thought this was appropriate because they just did a price drop and now all their matte and satin lipsticks are $5. That's like liquid cat suit. And we're gonna see if the quality is incredible, like I already know it is, but I have never put it to an all day test. So I thought, what better time to do that than with you guys? So <clears throat> I got Miss Murder, which is the darkest one, which is obviously gonna be the hardest to make stay put. So we are going to put it on. I think it complements this eye look that y'all should have seen this weekend pretty well. So we're going to put Miss Murder on and we're going to go about our day. I'm going to try not to be too careful. I mean, I've kind of trained myself to be careful so lipsticks don't just come off. But I'm going to maybe bite into a burger or something and see what happens. But this is supposed to be all day, budge proof, incredible quality. I know I've tried it on swatches and let it sit for hours and I mean I had to scrub it off in the shower. So from what I can tell so far they've been incredible but I am, I always touch up throughout the day even when I don't need to. So today we are leaving the lipstick at home, we are going out of town and I will be checking in all day long with you guys. So a little about the product. <clears throat> These are cruelty-free, vegan, and organic, which is incredible. People love that stuff. I'm not a big stickler for it, but I do appreciate when a company puts in that effort. And also, they give 15% of all their profits to charity, which is amazing. Like, this month, their charity is an animal shelter, and y'all know I love my fur babies. So 15% of all their profits are going to a small-town animal shelter to help out the puppies and the kitties and help them get more food, litter, blankets, you know, whatever they need to take care of them because it's a no-kill shelter that is super overcrowded and goodness knows those kind of places need the help. So if you want to help some puppies and you're impressed by the staying time, I would say go order a couple. So far they have about 10 or 11 different colors towards the end of the month. They should have some more coming out. They have their regular matte formulas, and then if you go with their satins, they actually have some more like neutral wearable shades. And I did test this all day, and they don't have the staying power of the matte from what I can tell, but they still stay super good, and the formula is incredibly comfortable. My favorite one is this one. <laughs> this is Nude Beach, and I can wear it every day, even with no makeup. But since we're a little dramatic today, we're going to go ahead and put on Miss Murder. I'm going to zoom y'all in while I apply it. And we're going to see what this thing can do. Okay, <clears throat> so this is one swap coverage. It comes out really opaque not patchy. The only issue I ever have is a personal one. It's hard for me to get my lips even and for the sake of this wear test I didn't want to put on lip liner to give anything an unfair advantage. So we have literally just got this lipstick on. I'm going to go in with a second coat because I like mine extra dark <laughs> and I'm going to put on a second coat just so that I can touch up the shape of my lips a little bit and get it just a tiny bit darker. And it does look, okay, it looks super dark on me. A big reason for that is that I'm very, very fair. So if I weren't so fair on darker skin tones, on, you know, more tan people, more deep people, this color comes off a little bit lighter. But on me, it comes off super vampy. So if you're a deeper skin tone, you might have to layer it up a couple of times to get this kind of color. One of the perks of being super pale, I don't know if it's a perk or not, because sometimes I don't want it to be this dark, but thanks to my skin tone, it's what happens. But it's a good thing I like looking like a vamp. So, coat number two. Okay, so that is coat number two. Now, <laughs> all we've got to do is just wait a little bit for this to dry down. Once it is dried down, I will check in with y'all. 
show you that it is not going to budge right now and then throughout the day I'll go ahead and check in and show y'all where it's going. Uh, it is currently, hmm, get all my notifications off. It is 9.38 a.m. So this will be on for a long time y'all because I am going to my mom's out of town today and I don't know what all we have planned but I'm going to see her and then I'm going to come back and film a little more for y'all too. So <laughs> when I get back we gonna see and I'm going to film while I'm out maybe give y'all a little baby tour of her house. I know she won't let me show y'all much but I might show you my fur babies that live with my mom. That'd be fun especially since we're saving the fur babies this month. But yeah, that is what we are going to do. I will be back in just a second to show you how transfer proof this is on application. Okay, so I actually just filmed a video that is going up on Saturday. You should have already watched it. <laughs> but while I filmed that, I waited for this to dry down and I think it is finally there. So I'm just going to show y'all how transfer proof this is on application. So I've got two layers on, completely dried down, super dark color. And, uh, I mean, I don't see any transfer. I don't know about y'all. But this is super transfer proof. Every time I've worn it so far, I haven't had any issues out of it at all. But I am known to do touch-ups even when goodness knows I don't need them. So, this is staying at home. And we are going to go out of town today and see how this holds up throughout the day. So, I will see y'all in just a little bit. Okay guys, so it is lunch time. We are sitting around 12.30, so it's been like three-ish hours. Still going strong. Came off a little in the middle, but that's nothing weird. Just like where it's like wet or whatever. It still looks super good. Here's what I have been chowing down on. I can't even get it in frame right. I've been going in and I had breakfast earlier and now I'm having breakfast for lunch. Because yeah. We had to take medicine, drank a cup of coffee. We are still looking good, you guys. I'll see y'all in a couple of hours, probably. Yeah. So we are getting dinner. By dinner, I mean we are getting Papa's because it is my favorite. Can't wait. But here is your check-in. Um, I'm so so eventful I slept for the last several hours it is like 6 p.m. so we are on almost 10 hours maybe nine hours of wear time so we're still going good faded off a little bit like right in here but that's just because that's like the wet part of my lips so of course it did other than that it's still pretty freaking incredible you guys it's perfect and if you're wondering about this eyeshadow, I told you in my weekend video, but this is the Cargo eyeshadow palette. It's the Emerald City one. I got it at TJ Maxx, and I went ahead and tested it out today. And it's actually holding up a lot better than I thought. I didn't really like it at first, but it's holding up well. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and get off here, and I'll give you another check-in before bed. <laughs> Bye. Hey, so it is the end of the day, and just to prove... It is 12.22 the next day. So, we have officially had this on for, God, like 15 hours, I think. And uh, it still looks really solid, you guys. And I know that is crazy that I wore it this long, but I literally put it on a little before 9 a.m. I have been going, hanging out, doing whatever. Even took like a four hour really messy nap that kind of destroyed my foundation earlier. And this lipstick is still strong. The only thing that wore off a tiny bit was just like there where my lip is already like wet. Other than that, this has held up so good. So here's going to go close up. Okay, so if you look at this really close up, it's a little bit drying after 15 hours because of course it is. But... It is still strong, hasn't really bled, maybe a little bit right here, but just a breakdown of what I've had today. So this morning I had Crispitos, I had a cup of coffee with no straw, 
Then I had what I showed y'all at Denny's. I had sausage, bacon, eggs, and hash browns. <laughs> then I had Popeyes. I've had a couple of different drinks. Um, I had a bottle of like Pepsi or whatever with no straw. And uh, yeah, this is still going super strong. So I just wanted to show you guys how this looks all day long, how well it wears. This is the darkest color they have right now. And I mean, it still looks flawless. And it is the very end of the day. And I'm about to hop my butt into bed right now. But I just had to get on here and show y'all how impressed I am. I hope you enjoyed my little bit of a vlog in here, even though my life is super boring, but I promise it's going to get better. So that is it. If you want some incredible staying power like this, you can get Crate Finds Matte Lipsticks for $5. They are vegan, organic, and cruelty free. So there should be no conflict for anybody. They are an amazing company. They donate to charities. And this month we are saving some puppies and kitties. So who can complain about that one? But that is it. I hope you enjoyed my first OMG Tuesday. And if Tati sees this, please don't hate me for using your idea. I promise I won't do it every week. But it just seemed perfect that this fit exactly how I think she would have done it. So that is it. I hope y'all enjoyed. I know I'm about to have some good sleep. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, you guys.